welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Jocelyn. If you love to talk about fragrance and perfume, you've come to the right place and I hope you consider subscribing. I also hope you'll consider following me on TikTok and Instagram where I also talk about perfume and other fun stuff. Today I'm very excited to bring you a Zara collection video. So I have about 10 or so Zara fragrances in my collection and I just thought I'd share them with you and my thoughts on them and if they're still available and all that good stuff. Fleur de Baobab. And this one was a roller ball that I decanted into this travel atomizer because, hmm, it smells really good, because I don't like roller balls. <laughs> I actually did a video um, a long time ago about how to decant a roller ball into a travel atomizer. If you're interested, I'll put that up in the cards. But Fleur, Fleur de Baobab has sea salt, orange blossom, and musk, so it's very summery smelling. And it kind of gives me a little bit of a bronze goddess type of vibe. Um, Bronze Goddess, um, Beach Walk, some of those very kind of sunscreeny. So it's nice. And this one is not available currently on the US site for Zara. So I don't know if it's available elsewhere, but um, one of the things that I don't like about Zara, the longevity is usually not great, but they are so inexpensive that it doesn't bother me that much because you can just respray. I mean, most of their bottles, the big bottles, 3.4 ounces, are going to be $26. And then they've got some that are like 16 or 17. And then they've got travel sprays that are like as low as $6. And so this is a really nice one. Um, I'm sure you can find them on Mercari too. Actually, that's where I got a couple of mine. So Fleur de Baobab, very nice summery fragrance. Very much in the vein of Bronze Goddess. Bobby Brown Beach is another one. The next one is Deep Garden. This is another roller ball that I decanted. This one has notes of pear, tuberose, and tonka bean. And this one is currently available. This one's been available for a long time. So it smells really good out of the sprayer. I'm just gonna see if I can spray it on a strip. Oh, this is the one with the, this is the one I have to put in, into another container because this sprayer is broken. Um, these things are sometimes cheap quality, but I still prefer it over a roller ball. So the sprayer doesn't work, but I did, some did leak out. It smells really good. It's a basic floral fruity to me. Um, pear, tuberose, and tonka bean. That sounds actually very similar to the note profile of the new La Belle flanker from Jean-Paul Gaultier. So the new flanker of La Belle is called Le Parfum and it has pear, tonka bean, and vetiver, I believe. So this is just a slightly different, but I haven't smelled Le Parfum, I would love to, but this smells good, but I don't think this is anything that's gonna blow your mind. But apparently it's pretty popular because like I said, it is still available on their website in the US. So it's nice, but um, it's a little bit ordinary in my opinion, and probably not as nice as the La Belle flanker, but I'm just guessing. So <laughs> maybe I'm being a snob. The next one I really like, this is called Fields at Nightfall, and this has praline, sandalwood, and tonka bean. And this is a really gorgeous kind of um, warm gourmand. It's very sweet and delicious. Um, I did a video where I talked in a little more depth on this one, but I really do like this. There are actually two different versions of Fields at Night Nightfall in the Fragrantica database. So I think I picked the one that I'm pretty sure I have and the correct note profile for it. But there are two different versions of this with two different note profiles, so I thought that was kind of interesting. But this is currently available on the Zara US website. I think it's really pretty. It's, um, like I said, it's kind of a nice gourmand, and I'm trying to remember what it reminded me of. It reminded me of something else in my collection. I'm gonna have to go back to that video <laughs> and look. But I really like this one. I recommend it. It's the lasting power is okay. And again, with these, you can just respray because they are so cheap. And the next one is probably the most well-known and popular of the ones that I have. And this is Rich Warm Addictive. This is really gorgeous. I think it's popular for a very good reason. Again, the longevity is not great, but it's beautiful. This one has rum, peony, and bourbon vanilla. Very um, gender neutral. This one can be worn by anybody. It's just a really rich, warm, <laughs> addictive, spicy, kind of um, enveloping, great for winter. Um, this goes really well with my 1821 man-made spiced vanilla body wash that I love. <laughs> I talked about in a recent haul and I just really love this one. Lots of people really like it. My husband wears it. I wear it. 
Um, it's just a really solid fragrance and I like it. It's popular for a good reason, I think. The next one I have is another pretty popular one. This one is called Sweet Pastry in Paris. Unfortunately, it does not appear to be available currently on the website, but it is a very sweet, sweet lemony fragrance. And it's got lemon, sugarcane, and vanilla. And this one is, I think, really good for layering. It's not super complex, but it's very pretty and sweet and gourmand. So if you love a sweet lemony gourmand, this is like very edible smelling to me. And I like it. Um, I think it layers really well with something a little more floral, like maybe something with neroli or orange blossom, but it's popular for a good reason. I think it's very delicious. And um, this one has like, I would say medium longevity. It's not great, but it's not horrible either. Another one from that same collection is called Mochi Atelier in Tokyo. This one has notes of pear, rice, and sandalwood. It is not currently available. And it's a very light, perfect for summer, very light, airy tea fragrance, I think. I mean, it reminds me of tea. It doesn't have a tea note, but I think it's just a really easy reach, people-pleasing, just a super nice summery fragrance. It's nothing very complicated, but it's very pretty. This is a nice, easy reach fragrance. So that's Mochi Atelier in Tokyo. Then I have Orange Honey, which is a very pretty, um, another summery one. This I think they do summery fragrances really well. So this is Neroli Orange Blossom and Orchid, and it's very bright and floral and juicy and delicious. And um, I think the bottle is kind of pretty. I actually really like their bottles. I think their bottles are very nice quality. Um, I don't think they're, you don't want to pick them up by the cap because the, <laughs> the caps aren't super secure on here, but I think they're nice and they're a great deal. So this is Orange Honey. I think this is one of the ones I did get on Mercari and I really like it. It's a very beautiful summer fragrance. Very kind of in the same vein. This is Yellow Velvet and this one has Peach, Orchid, and Vanilla. By the way, these aren't available currently on the website. This one I got on Mercari. I can't remember if I said that or not. It's a really pretty summer fragrance. Fresh, bright. Um, these this one I think is a little more juicy. This one might be a little more floral, more like the sunscreen kind of vibe, but they're both really nice. And actually they probably layer well with each other. Haven't tried it, but I'm guessing they would layer really nicely with each other and possibly with the sweet pastry in Paris too. So um, this one is again, yellow velvet. Last one I have, this is actually, this is actually one that I talked about getting recluttered to me. This is one that I decluttered um, to one of my daughters and then one day I found it in my room hiding in a little nook or cranny. <laughs> so she recluttered it to me. This is Osmanthus Tale of Femininity. It's called The Beautiful Osmanthus. It's got peach, osmanthus, and leather. I don't really get leather, but I think it's a really nice fragrance. Um, I didn't get rid of it because I hated it or anything. It was just kind of one of those things like I didn't wear it very often. I still don't, but I probably will wear it this summer because I think it's a really nice summer fragrance. Um, so it's nice and I didn't get rid of it because I hated it or anything. So it came back to me and I'm like, ah, I might as well keep it. So, <laughs> so again, this is Osmanthus Tale of Femininity, not currently available on the website, but I don't think they currently have an Osmanthus on their website. But anyway, I really like this one. And, um, if you can find these on Mercari for a decent deal, I would, any of these are, are good, um, with a possible exception of Deep Garden, which isn't bad, but it's just very ordinary to me. Just a very ordinary floral fruity. I think the rest of these I really like, and but I wouldn't pay more than $25, I don't think, for a bottle, like a full-size bottle of a Zara perfume. But that's just me. I mean, you can do what, what makes you comfortable. Maybe I'd pay 30, but if somebody's charging like 50 or more, I would be pretty on my guard for that because I just don't think they're high enough quality to warrant that price, even if it is hard to find. And you can probably find very similar things elsewhere for cheaper on FragranceNet or Fragrance Buy by looking on Fragrantica at similar fragrances. So, um, so don't overpay for Zara. I wouldn't, but of course you can do whatever you want. So <laughs> that's just my recommendation. I would love to know down in the comments, what is your favorite Zara fragrance? I am really interested. Is there anything new? They are constantly coming out with new ones. They're constantly discontinuing fragrances. It's a very fast cycle over at Zara. So um, I guess that kind of goes along with their fast fat. I think they're kind of considered a fast fashion company. I would love to hear what your favorite Zara fragrance is. Down in the comments, please give this video a thumbs up. If you liked it, feel free to give it a thumbs down if you didn't. And I'll see you again soon. Thanks so much.